This is this is the uh, this is the small turntable of the big ones. This is the smaller of the two big ones. Uh, we were going to show this um, in um, in Italy, but uh, I've decided that I want to do only CD to really focus on on the top of the range CD system. Now the power supply for that is there. That's the power supply. For that turntable. For the turntable. It's got three motors, it's got three motors this size. Oh my. Oh my. Um, it's got a Motors are here, you can see the size of the motors. And these are the small motors, we've got a much bigger motor. Um, there used to be a motor sitting loose here somewhere, but I can't find it anywhere. Stuff moves around here a great deal. Um, it's, as you can see, I mean, the, the investment is colossal. It is, yes. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, if you if you include the valves I've got, you probably wouldn't get much change on $30 million. And considering we turn over six. Your six is your turnover? Yeah. Yeah. Then uh, the investment into this is absolutely enormous. But it's accumulated. I've Because I don't pay myself, I don't take a lot of money out. All the money is put back in. Into inventory and products. Into inventory, into new design. products, into new processes, and, and so on. And that what, what that's meant that over the years I've been able to build up a level of inventory that, you know, there isn't a company in the audio industry that can buy this at all. You know, you'd have to go to the Sony's or the... Yeah, it's staggering. You know, it's staggering you know, the I amount mean, the of high end, The high-end people, there, there isn't a single high-end company that comes close to this level of inventory. It is amazing, Peter. How many turntables do you sell a year? Uh, right. Very right. few, because yeah. we've, it's one of these things where we uh, the delivery time is so long, people tend to lose patience. I see. <laughs> so we haven't sold very many, but uh, we, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's, it's partly a space problem. I haven't got the space and I haven't got the stuff. Hmm. So, yeah. But uh, we've got the designs, and the designs work. And it's really just a question of um, I mean, we make our own tone arms, we make our own cartridges, you know, we mount the diamonds in the, in the cantilevers. We, you know, we do things from the ground up. We do not buy in you know, something and then just stick an audio note label on it. I had a cartridge many years ago, uh, Art Dudley. Uh, I was oh, so I one. I remember yeah, it well. That's right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, hey, Art Dudley yeah. sent it down to me for a month. I got to uh, listen to it. That's the cheapest one we make of the moving parts. Oh. You'll have to send me an expensive one. Yeah. I have yeah. a little factory which we don't show anybody mm. where it is, which makes all the transformers. And the reason we don't show where anybody is, is that that's where most of the silver wire sits. Mm -hmm. uh, I hold the backup stock at the factory, at uh, the shop, as you saw. Mm -hmm. But most of the silver wire sits where it's wound. And mm -hmm. we've got, this, we got this, uh, this specialized winding machine that's made, was made only one sample of. Mm -hmm. um, and by a company in Germany called Ruf, who make the finest winding machines in the world. They're mm -hmm. like the Rolls Royce winding machines. What are they called again? Ruf, R-U-F-F. -F. How about that?